Today we are going to explore Fern Canyon. Fern Canyon is located in Northern California, about two miles outside the small town of Orrit. The hike into the canyon is very easy, but you do have to drive about eight miles down a narrow gravel road that winds through the redwoods to get to the trailhead. Fern Canyon is a popular destination and it's easy to see why. Even Steven Spielberg described Fern Canyon as an unforgettable natural wonder, and scenes from Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World were filmed here. Fern Canyon is part of Prairie Creek Redwoods State Park. If you're driving north from Oric on Highway 101, you will turn left onto Davidson Road about two miles after you pass through Oric. After you turn left, you will drive through what is called Elk Meadow. It is a big meadow where wild elk hang out, so make sure you stop and see if you can see some. Then you will continue straight and start up the gravel road. There are no trailers or RVs allowed on the road since it's very narrow. The road is narrow and windy, but it's very pretty because you're driving right through the redwoods. You will continue about six miles up the gravel road until you reach the pay station. When we went, it cost $8 for a day pass for parking. Make sure you bring cash or checks since they don't take credit cards. After the pay station, the road opens up and you can even see the ocean. You will continue for three more miles on the gravel road. You will see pullout areas where you can park and go to the beach and even a camping section along the side of the road that leads to the trailhead. There are spots on the road that have really large potholes that might be hard for smaller cars, but we did see small cars that were able to make it. Also, it does say on the website that you should check with road conditions during the rainy months because they sometimes have to shut down the road when it's bad weather due to down trees and flooding. Hi guys, we just made it to Fern Canyon and the parking lot is super full, so we had to park a little bit down this gravel road and we're gonna walk down to the trailhead. The gravel road will eventually dead in into the parking lot where there's a bathroom and a trailhead for the Fern Canyon hike. The trailhead is clearly marked and even has some information about Fern Canyon. From the parking area to the start of the canyon, it's only about a quarter mile of easy trail and it only took us a couple of minutes before arriving at the canyon. When you reach the start of Fern Canyon, you will see a little trail off to your left. That trail will take you up above the canyon so you can walk along the top. We chose to just walk straight down the canyon floor instead of going on the trail. We just made it into Fern Canyon and it is so beautiful. There's literally ferns covering the entire walls. When you enter Fern Canyon, you will see that there is a small stream that runs through the canyon. This stream is called Home Creek. This creek winds the entire canyon floor, so you'll just be walking through it as you explore. There's lots of little stream crossings, but they have little uh, boards so that you don't get your feet wet, but it's still pretty muddy, so I would recommend rubber boots or waterproof hiking shoes. It also gets a bit muddy near the end of the canyon. We wore rubber boots and we were so glad that we did. I saw a ton of people carrying their wet shoes and trying their best to stay dry. It was nice to just be able to walk right through the creek and enjoy the beauty of the canyon without having to worry about getting our feet wet. Once you get into the canyon, you will be amazed. You're literally surrounded by ancient ferns 50 feet up the walls of the canyon. I grew up in the redwoods and I have seen a ton of ferns, but I've never seen anything like this. About halfway into the canyon, you will notice that there are places where there's water dripping down the canyon walls, almost like a small waterfall, but it was a constant drip down the ferns into the creek below. As you go deeper into the canyon, there are some down trees that add to the beauty of the hike. You will weave around and under the trees to see even more of the canyon. This part of the trail does start to get a little bit muddy. There were also some moss covered trees off to the right that were so pretty. Okay, so we just walked through Fern Canyon and then it opens up to this trail here and I think it loops around, but we're gonna walk back through the canyon once more and go back to the parking lot. You can see in my pictures that I'm wearing a tank top since it was pretty warm the weekend that we visited. Normally in this area, even during the summer, the weather is very unpredictable and it's often rainy and foggy, so you might want to bring a sweatshirt or a jacket just in case. Thank you for exploring Ferd Canyon with us today. It really is worth the trip and make sure you watch the next video so that you can see where we go next.